Hello. I have heard from people that uh, keeping a big goal it's very scary and uh, people do not want to keep a big goal. When it comes to financial planning, when it comes to setting a goal to acquire that kind of money, it's always we should have that courage to set a goal which is needed to achieve in one point of time. It could be retirement goal, it could be your child education goal, it could be your child marriage goal or it could be setting up a business. For all these things, you may need to have big corpus. When you look at today's value and uh, inflation, if you calculate everything, it will be a big goal. Or anything, it, uh, you wanted to set up a big house, you wanted to set up a big business. For all those things, when you think from your current income, if you calculate, I have only 1 lakh rupees per month now, and I want to buy a 1 crore worth of uh, house, Mostly people think that it's not possible. But if you really set that as a goal and work towards it, you can easily achieve it. Only thing is that you need to have the patience and you need to have the discipline. If you do that, it is possible. But today we are going to talk about what are the five reasons mostly people have the fear to keep a big goal. So what are that five things? If you know that, if you have that fear, remove that and set that big goal and ensure that you achieve that. So the first thing is that always think that my dream is too big. As I said, if you have a dream of buying a house worth one or two crores and you compare with your monthly salary and you may think that it's very difficult for you to achieve that. But set that goal and ensure that have a plan and strategy to ensure that you will reach there. You have two options. You can either increase your income or save more and wait for some time and ensure that you acquired some money and you ensure that you achieve whatever dream you have. So the first thing is that whatever big goal is that, set that as a goal, put it in a paper and see that how much monthly savings you need to have ensure, to ensure that that goal is fulfilled. It's not just about money, it, it can be for any of your goal. The next is, next is very important. Mostly people have this problem. It is not confident. Whatever your goal is, you think that in my uh, previous months or previous years, I never done this. So how can I achieve it? So always comparing yourself with your history or in my family, no one has done it. How I can do it? Remove all these things. You can be the one who create history for you and for your family. So whatever confidence issue, remove it. Whatever fear you have, remove it. That fear is not going to stop you. Only thing is that you have to decide that this is not a fear. I can do it. If you have that belief, whatever big goal is that you can do it. And the next thing is that lack of patience. So usually we all love to get the result immediately. If you go to the gym, from next day we will check our muscles and see that how muscle is grown. Or if you are doing a diet, next day onwards you check the weight and see that how many kilos is reduced. So we all want to see that the improvement immediately. That is the reason people when they come to stock market, they go for trading because they want to see that their money is multiplying every day. So that's not going to be possible. It's just like growing a tree. You put a seed and you need to water it, water it and uh, fertilize it and one day become a big tree and start giving fruits. So you have to have that patience to get the result what you love to get it. The next is mostly people do not have a plan and a strategy. So whatever it is, you need to have a plan that how are you going to achieve that? It can be anything. It can be starting a big business. Have a plan and have a strategy to ensure that you work towards that goal. If you're working in an organization and you are getting a salary and if you're starting up some business, you may have to leave the job and you may not have that income. So you need to have a plan first that how are you going to leave that job and dedicate your full time into your startup idea. So for that, how much money I need to ensure that 
my monthly expense is covered till the time my business is flourish so for that you need to have a plan and strategy to achieve that it can be anything uh, any goal you have to plan and strategize and ensure that you do it if you do not have that you can't really dream a big goal and importantly importantly this is the most important thing lack of discipline it's if you think that you want to improve your health it's very easy all of us know wake up early morning maybe 6 o'clock and go for walk or exercise and come and do a meditation then do a proper diet ensure that each day you follow that if you are not ready to do that your health is not going to improve it if you look for a capsule which will ensure that you eat next day you will have a brilliant health it may not work but if you keep this discipline and without fail if you do it for let's say 90 days 90th day when you check your health it will be much much better than 90 days before it's the same thing with any of our goals you need to work towards without any in any 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 laziness or any anything and you ensure that you make it a habit and you ensure that you deliver that result so these five things it is stopping all of us to set up a big goal and achieve it there are many but if you work on these five categories you will ensure that whatever that big goal is that you will be able to achieve it i'm sure that this will be an inspiration to relook at your financial goals and your other goals to make sure that you go for it and you ensure that you achieve it we'll come back with a similar type of videos in the next episode thank you